leg length is probably one of the most I think complex clinical assessment tools that we've got probably is al almost uh, the most unreliable one as well it's important to view leg length assessment in context with the symptoms if we've got asymmetrical symptoms low back pain one-sided or hip pain one-sided then I think looking at leg length is, is certainly important and, and probably as valid as looking at frontal plane movement as well because we're going over on to come landmarks and those landmarks might differ from patient to patient just ensure that you're at least confident with your assessment criteria use as many methods as you can to at least try and quantify whether there is a difference and what that difference might be and then you've got the decisions to make as to whether you incorporate that onto your orthotic design features. So we're going to look at leg length just as a uh, clinical assessment tool. It's important to realise the limitations when we're looking at leg length. It probably is one of the most unreliable tools that we've got during clinical assessment. I think as a clinician looking at leg length you can be fairly confident that you're getting a longer or shorter side but the intertestal reliability, which is a clinician to look at a patient that a other clinician has seen and to get a consensus of agreement sometimes is a little bit uh, loose. Essentially what we're looking for is a, a reference position where we're looking at the structural leg length. So I'm going to get the patient to bend their knees up towards themselves with their pelvis off the bed and just drop that down and then just straight down. I'm looking again at our reference position, which is malleoli level, which will be the first and obvious point to look for and also looking at heel position as well in terms of their relative levels. We can get a problem in terms of calcaneal height that might differ from side to side. So important to look at the reference position at malleoli level and heel position as well. Let's look at the tibial tuberosity. This is a anatomical landmark that sits at the front part of the tibia. And what we're trying to get a feel for is, is to whether these are sort of perfectly level. Or as you can see in this case, the patient's left side is a little bit more further advanced onto our left side. We can also look at the crest of the knees as well to give us an indication as to whether there's any sort of functional or structural leg length issues to consider.